Hello. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening I'll be creating two simple easy cards with a bit of coloring um, with Jolly Words stamp set. So um, great ideas for um, colored toppers, I guess, uh, using yeah. DSPs and embossing folder. We will see. But yes, uh, if you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer. As we will say hello to those of you who have joined us and also uh, do a run. Woo! <laughs> Do a random draw for the card. And the card, which has now probably got some dented edges. <laughs> it's unique. No, nope, he it's saved fine. it. We saved it. It's fine. For Barry's card that he created last Sunday, that one. So if you would like a chance to win this card, do pop in a quick comment uh, on the link that yes. Barry... I have pinned a link at the very top, so um, I will change that very soon to a Zoom link. Um, but yes, I've pinned the link for you. Cool. So we'll say hello to those, those of you who joined us. Thank you so much. So we have Quinn. Hello. I would just say that John is up there as well. Oh. He's hidden by my pinned uh, link. Hi, John. <laughs> uh, Angie. Hiya. We also have Heather. Keisha. Hello. Lavinia. Lolly and San. Sandy McCullough. Linda. Hello to you. Anna. Hiya. Um, I have no sound. Is it okay? Um. Cheryl, Connie, Maureen, uh, Pauline, hello, hello, Jackie, Janelle, Lois, Marty, hiya, and, oh, I thought that was the end, <laughs> Sandra, Valerie, and who else we got, Jilly Bling, hello, hello, Wendy, Bling Bling Crafter, Pat, and Sylvia, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, lovely. So let's do the drawing for this one here. So um, we'll see who's won that and then Jay will crack on with tonight's demonstration. As he said, using the Jolly Word stamp set here. So good, let's just bring that one up and go over to there. Let's add a number in there. So we've got 18 so far, see if that just jumped up. And something went wrong. Um, just bear with me one moment. The page isn't Oops. working now. Um, I'm just going to let's go back over to um, us for a moment whilst you see. So Jay can just um, talk for a bit if you want whilst I just get this corrected. It was working. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking. What else? Um, yes. Yeah, so what have we got coming up with Jolly Words very soon, Jay? Have we uh, got something coming up with that? No, nothing. Have we not? No. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> I just did uh, a live on the Coloring Masterclass members group uh, on Facebook this today as extra content to um, how to color that with a, a bit more depth. Um, so I will be doing some quick coloring this evening um, just to have it colored uh, as well. Also, if you missed Wednesday's live, was this Wednesday? I think I that one I did. <laughs> I did that on Wednesday, um, so the card and the boxing card all in one, and also Barry's Fun Fold Friday. What did you do Fun Fold Friday? I did the Magic Slider card. Oh yes, the amazing but, Magic Slider, but we'll show that to, yes, uh, to you in a We are ready now. So we'll show you the Magic Later. Slider at the end, so there we go. So that's that. So the winner of the card is going to be... Good luck, everyone. Da, da, da. Connie. Connie, congratulations. Congratulations there, Connie. This card is going to be coming over to you. So do just please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 26th of November 2023, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, there, Connie. And we will pop this card in the post to you. So lovely. Congratulations to you, Connie. Um, so yes, that's that. So I'm going to hand you over to Jay right now, where he will be, as we just mentioned, be creating a card with this one right here. Amazing. Lovely. Enjoy. So yes, Jolly Words. I believe it is in the last chance. Sile. Oh, just sile. <laughs> so if you like the images, um, get it quick because... 
oh, it's only available while stock lost. Um, the DSP that I'll be pairing with this one is the Oh Holy Night uh, with the stars because I'm thinking, well, it's flying, right? So <laughs> it'll be up in the sky. But uh, to be fair, I will just be um, using that as a topper, Not, no fussy cutting. Um, you might be happy to know. And I'll just stamp it on a piece of basic white card. So, ho, ho, ho. Memento, if you are coloring in stamping blends, um, always use Memento. This is quite a juicy. I've just re-inked it. So they say, never mix your drinks, but always mix your inks. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was funny. <laughs> so, memento. Um, so, stamping blends is alcohol, so you need to stamp a different um, base ink, like water base. Um, if you are. <laughs> You're still laughing at your little joke. I buddy. know! I was, I'm one, so you? happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> if, you are. if you are water coloring, because it's water based. Uh, then you need solvent base or ar archival so um, uh, you have your stays on um, so it doesn't smudge there we go so I'm just gonna quickly color what do we have what do we have um, ivory and bronze will go it so quickly color these I will be using my pre-colored uh, topper, which I'll show you at the end. So I'm just doing the antlers all in one. And then with the bronze, adding some shading on the d reindeers. and then fill that in with ivory but of course you can add a bit more if you prefer so ivory and bronze they do come as a combo um, there is a huge gap between the two colors so you could always add a third color in between your natural tones I guess So just doing the same. And I do use the ivory a lot more than the bronze. Ivory is a, a great one for skin tone as well. Because it's quite light and it's not too yellowy, which I find, or pinky, which I find the 1,900 or even 800 to be a bit too... Um, I don't know, it's just odd skin tone to be honest. And I thought the ivory and bronze, it's just an easy combo to fill in or to use. And then last one. Don't forget the tails. So who's got this set and who still want this set? Let us know. Any other browns? Let's just double check. Oh, the sack. So bronze. Nardi has asked what catalog has this come from. So this is the September to December mini catalog. It's only a stamp set, so it doesn't come with any punch or a, a die bundle. And maybe I'll add a bit of... Pauline just said, page 33 of the mini, mini catalog. Oh, thank thank you, you so much. Do I need to zoom in a bit more? Just 
no one said, but I will just zoom in. There we go. And Mary's asked, what size is the stamp approximately? So I will let you know. Uh, so this particular one is from edge to edge, I guess. Four and a quarter by one and three quarters. So this papers just like, I'll probably cut it down to four three quarters of an inch and that one's two and a quarter. Um what else? Okay I'll I'll add some green. I'm gonna use old olive this time. Just for the in between. In my other coloring, I did use shaded spruce. So it'll be a different look, but I thought I'll give you something different. And then uh, for the present, just to pull that in. And under Santa, any other green? No. And then we have the red. I'll go real red. So Santa's, Santa's trousers, I guess. And suit and then the hat oh Hello, did you forget about them I haven't said them yet so he's just reminded me <laughs> Here we go, and I'll just add a couple of shading on the sleigh. Ooh, you're running out. I've just brought in light sweet sorbet, just because it seems to be still going <laughs> it's still going let's bring that in so um, if you're giving it um, giving the card to like kids as well you can just stamp it and as long as you make the card and then stamp it and make it a flat card they, you could always get them to color it so it's kind of like something to do <laughs> for them color the color their own christmas card but because you've already made a card with it it's all stuck down um it's still allowed i'm i'm thinking you're not allowed to just send stamped um thing but you made something already with it uh oh with ivory santa space which I don't know, it looks a bit funky. And <laughs> I'm just gonna add some, what are you, gray granite. And finally some, shall I do some more reds? I'll just do the reds. I think I did that last time. Again, I missed the tail. Yeah. There we go. And because we're nearing the end of 
the catalog I do have a lot of ribbon still so I'm gonna try and use this one probably <laughs> it's only little that I'm actually using because I did think uh, so I've got my card base which is 14 by 21 or five and a half by eight and a quarter my layer is three millimeters smaller or an eighth of an inch smaller the DSP is another eighth of an eighth of an inch smaller than the layer so that's a quarter of an inch smaller than the card front or um, six mil so you still have kind of like an increment or decrement I don't know uh, it decreases in size and because for an easy one, you could just wrap a couple of these on, but I want it, I want it to look a, a little bit more. So what I've done is I've marked where's my, three quarters of an inch on the side from the top right, three quarters of an inch from the bottom left, and then also at one inch from the bottom left and then one inch from the top right I'm gonna stick this down I wasn't gonna add a layer but uh, because it's paper it is a slightly flimsy so if you are adding a bit of um, ribbon I guess you can use scrap piece of card so um, it's a bit more sturdier And then, so what I'm going to do is just wrap uh, the ribbon in the corners. Again, um, just for a different look, but as I said, you can just, to make it even easier, you can just do it like that, or probably that way will, will make use of your ribbon a lot more. But me being me, I just... <laughs> so I'm just covering those... Um, mark areas and then sticking that down on the end and I guess I, I did it this way so then at least um, I marked it so I know that the angle would at least be quite consistent on both ends. You can continue over, but I guess, but it will be, I guess you're using up more of that and it'll be, um, and it will support your card at the back. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm just gonna keep it going. Or do it at the front, I guess, if you want. But again, it's gonna be hidden with the topper anyway. Right, just making sure that my angle And I will add another one in here. Maybe I should have extended that, but that's fine. I'm just gonna add this on to there. And because you have a bumpy left and right, that's fine. I'm just gonna stick down most of the ones in the corner there, the opposite corner might just add a bit of glue on that just so it doesn't go anywhere oh hi Gian hope your day is going well in your craft fair
Hello, Julie. Yeah. And then to finish up, it doesn't really need any other sentiment. Um, so I'm just going to stick that on with dimensional. Maybe the large one would be better. I can hear something. It's Tommy enjoying his his dinner or he's licking his lips by the side of the yeah. surface, cleaning. And what do we have? Loads of <laughs> sequins, <laughs> glitter sequins. So guess what I'm using? Um, so they are quite flat. Uh, we'll go green just because of that green. Oh, I was going to show you my other one. But I forgot I was going to cut it as well, but hey ho, it's stuck down now. <laughs> Apologies. I will show you my other one. Um, just do a couple. My usual three. There you go. Uh, there. So that is done. So this is a bit more depth with the coloring. So it is small and a lot more depth on the sleigh and the sack as well. So you can see the difference on that. Uh, I added some balmy blue for the sky, but I think it works fine with, with or without blue. <laughs> There you go. I hope you like that. It that is a lovely DSP as well. We um we're still working our, our way through our DSP. Now for the second card, we have the joy. Um, I'll just get my card base ready. I did have it ready somewhere. And I wasn't going to add DSP, but I, I saw this and I was like, oh, that looks nice. Uh, this is from Joy of Noel. Christmas Joy. Joy of Christmas. <laughs> Joy of Christmas. Uh, DSP. Let's just double check just in case. Joy of Christmas. Yes. Um, and again, I'll just have a piece of thick white for my card base. And then um, my layer is the same size as earlier and another basic white for um, stamping. So this one, I'm going to emboss. Stepped up with a bit of embossing. With the Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder. This one, I believe, is carrying over, so it's not gonna retire. And I'm gonna make, shall I make this like that? Okay, I tend to not, I will make it portrait. So it's a 3D folder, so you'll need your base plate one and four. John asked if you've got an art background. I must have got an art degree, but you dumb it down all the time. Mm -hmm. It make it sound like, yeah, I, I don't, well, yeah, I do have an art degree, um, 
but the things that I kind of like, like the coloring or um, I I did fine art painting. So the course is more you're left to your own accord. So you you it's pretty much more self taught. Um, I did do a foundation course where you um, kind of like dabble with sculpture or um, photography. Uh, and then before you choose your own subject, I guess, um, and all of all throughout, um, you're kind of like just left to do what you want. That's why I chose it. No, okay. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> um, so yes, so um, it is. A, um, I I do like coloring um, and painting, and but I haven't painted for ages, for years years and by the time that um, on my third year I uh, wasn't really painting I was using plaster and graphite powder as my base because I got into I didn't get into uh, I was interested in shall I say before um, <laughs> um, stencil graffiti so my thesis was about stencil graffiti so I was just walking around London um, with my A to Z um, map uh, can anyone remember those? Uh, <laughs> I used to love doing that, just kind of like going out on the weekend. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just wandering around London and looking for galleries and I'd see central graffiti. So I've just been, I ended up taking pictures of them and wrote my thesis on it. You really don't like going out at all. No, I don't like going out at all. <laughs> Where was that person gone? I know. I used to love it. I, I'd just be by myself because I didn't have friends. <laughs> no one wants to go with me. Um, anyway, so that's snow falling. So that's been um, embossed. I I tend to like more the Devo side. I don't know if you're like me. You do have the embossed side, which is lovely as well. Which makes more sense, I guess, with the emboss because it's kind of like three dimensional. Anyway, I'm just gonna um, stamp and quickly color the joy with the elfings. And again, memento. Don't forget, mix your inks, <laughs> not your drinks. <laughs> What are you doing there, Jay, right there at the moment? <laughs> he's saying that and he's got a bottle of cider on the go and a glass of gin by the side of it. <laughs> That's your fault. I haven't touched that. You haven't. <laughs> I'm being professional. I won't touch it until I finish. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, just stamp that. Can I see it? So I guess I'm just gonna use the same color. So this one, let's check. Colors, colors. Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, Real Red, Shaded Spruce, and Pebbled Paw. So Old Olive, I'll, I'll use my Real Red and that. So Real Red. Well, and sweet sorbet because my other red. I do have some more red, but <laughs> because I um oh hi mini <laughs> ow mini just jumped on my back. She's on my lap now, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some. Are you dark? Yes, shading. On this one, mostly halfway. And then mix that up. These are so cute, but they're quite, they're easy to color as well because they're it's like basic shapes.
Yeah. Is that him? Is that all the reds? Ooh. I'll do my berries. Red as well. Old olive light. And then the dark around the edges. You can introduce uh, shaded spruce. Was that the other color? So again, this is a quicker version. And then I'm just gonna add a bit more light, old olive. Or you can do granny apple. I guess I didn't need to indivi individually color those leafings, but that's fine. If you want a bit more contrast, you can add a second layer of those old olive. Any other, any other. Green, green. Where is my, I, ha I have got another one. All right, that's green. Okay, that's it. Oh, I forgot his thing. Um, red, real red. Uh, oh, hello me. What is this one? Uh, hat. That's it. That's what it's called. That's all the red. I'll just add a bit more red. There and then. Wild. Wheat. Dark and light. And then finish up with ivory for the face. There you go. So, um, because it, uh, I use Memento, the J and the Y isn't as dark as I would like to. You can use your basic black to just trace over that or your Stampin' White marker if you want it a bit darker. Or when you stamp it, you could always mask it off uh, and stamp the the trio of images in memento and then stamp that in stays on uh, this is another one that i've done um so i've added shaded spruce onto there and i did go over that with a basic black dark and then added some highlights onto that that one is 800 it's a bit yellowy for my liking and i've Done another one and I've cut that quite close so I'll be using that as my topper instead and I'm gonna just add these on 
Now, you can add another, I guess, a mat for that. Where are we? Shaded Spruce, which is a regal. We got it high. Ooh, or Pretty Peacock. It makes it looks too green. Pretty peacock. It just adds a different color to it. So I'll go with pretty peacock. And this one is two by four and a half inches. So I'll just add a tiny, tiny border. Before I do that, I'm just gonna double check that it is what I say it is. Yeah, four and a half. So four five eighths of an inch. It's only an eighth of an inch. Dollar. And that's two inches, so two one eighths. Or you can do five centimeters by eleven. Point two for the DSP and then add three millimeters for the mat. There you go. And before I add that on, actually, I'll add this on and then I'll add some more. Um, ribbon because why not here we go Ooh. wonka donk so it's gonna be a, a simple layout like so but I'm going to add then what are you called? This is this comes as a combo. Uh, copper and I wanna say natural. <laughs> I'll get the thing out. I don't know. I'm sure it says it is natural. I haven't even gone through this. Yeah, copper copper and natural ribbon combo pack. For those uh, living in the UK, I will be putting up the paper share, ribbon and embellishment sh share, paper product share, or paper share paper plus share. more, paper share plus more <laughs> uh, details soon. Uh, there's not much in the mini, or not as much as in the catalog, uh, in the winter catalog, so, um, but you still get a quarter each. I'm just checking. Okay, I'll do it that way. More towards the right, because I do want to see that ribbon. You can hide it. <laughs> as much as I love hiding stuff. But there's plenty of this. I just moved it, that's fine. And so probably about an inch on the right hand side. Cut that off. <clears throat> oh, did you go back in? I always forget to add a bit of sticky stuff in the center. Luckily, it, that 
basic white. It's flexible enough. Sorry, I, di I didn't zoom out afterwards, didn't I? Am I? Do I keep going out of uh, out of the no, screen? Okay. Too major. No, okay. Right, right hand side. There we go. And oh, I was gonna show you. I I did contemplate of um, using um, a celebration embossing folder. I will show you in a sec. So that's gonna be there. So left. And would that be enough? I'm gonna leave that free of dimensional yeah because we did get our pre-order um, or PPP shall I say it's not the pre-order we only bought um, one bundle wasn't it yes so no epic unboxing I'm afraid no, that will be in January <laughs> that, January or maybe even December <laughs> And that's just gonna go there. So then the O is gonna like in between. I will just make that the same. Uh, you can double layer it, but I won't. My artisan projects, I'm, I'm all for double, triple layering, which you'll see in my December project. <laughs> or you probably can't tell, but uh, with these ones, because we'll be sending it. Marty has asked, what tape have you used to tape down a ribbon? Oh, the ribbon was uh, Stampin' Seal Plus. Which is that one? I do get on with the Seal Plus a lot more than the normal Seal. But I just, for I just forget sometimes to... Um, all right, I'm just gonna add mini on there to kind of like roll the normal seal. I've lost my big tool. It's somewhere. I was using it just now, wasn't it? Oh yes, I, I see it now. Right, anyway, nearly done. So don't forget to add your comments if you haven't done so already for a chance to win the first card. And if you'd like to win this card, don't forget to come back and add a comment. I will just again use the sequence. Why did I put it away? I don't know. Shall we go blue? This time, how does the blue work? I know it's all white. We'll go white. Just because I don't want it to over. Um, can I take the focus out of the coloring? Du, 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 and there. There. There we go. Of course, you can splatter Wing of Stella to make it even more shimmery, glittery, bling blingy. So there we go, that is my um, second card. So the embossing folder, this one is really nice. This is um, sneak peek from Celebration, so you can get this from, is this Celebration? 
I'm sure it is. <laughs> um, Janet has asked what set were you using? She couldn't find um, she scrolled back but couldn't see. Uh, uh, it fit. is the Jolly Words, which was, was it page 13? Page 33. Said? 33. Your memory is better than mine. <laughs> so yes, so Jolly Words, page 33 from the September to December 2023 mini catalog. But yeah, look at the um, samples from that. That's lovely as well. There, there's a third this the season season on there. And anyway, um, that one would look lovely with. I did contemplate of doing a third card, but I didn't have one. And um, with my Christmas, with my Christmas Santa, with uh, Saint Nicholas, because it's quite um, the pattern. It's quite nice. It's quite regal, I thought. And he's wearing blue. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, that's the two cards for this evening. Is that, um, would you say that simple? Cash for? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well. <laughs> I would say so. Let's and I've used DSP. Uh, Yay! <laughs> Barry's just coming over. It hasn't been updating. Thanks, Beverly. Yes, I still haven't made anything with that blue Santa. I keep saving it. Barry keeps asking me, do you want, can I use that? And I was like, no, I want to use it myself. <laughs> And it won't get used. I, I might just have to kind of like use it as a color topper and just stick it down without any other. Um, because I think that would look perfectly fine with that and a Merry Christmas or a Ho Ho Ho. <gasps> Santa's coming! It's coming to town! <laughs> Bear with me. What other Just ones? Oh, whilst you're doing that, I will show your magic slider as promised. So this one, if you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. Barry's created this lovely magical Christmas card. Again, using DSP. Barry Christmas DSP. And he also decorated the pack, which is great. And what I love about this most magic slider that I've seen, it's just a, kind of like an enclosed um, card. But this one, he's opened up the car, uh, the back so you can actually stand it up, yeah. which I like. Um, and you could always just um, make that flush. So if you can do it before you punch it, or if you've already punched your topper, just do it that way around, mark a point and then cut that point off. Of course, you will need a ribbon as a full tab. So then it'll be flushed against your card and you can post it easily. That's what I was getting at when Barry was on live. <laughs> and I wasn't getting it. And if you watched that video, I said to him, he's got a habit of doing that and it normally takes around about three times to explain it. And it took around about three times to explain what he was getting at. Yes, 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, are you ready? I am ready. So let's go over to the Wheel of Names and we're going to give away the, the first one. card, that one right there. So good luck, everyone. Let's hopefully I've got the timer set correct this time. Um, good so. luck, everyone. And the winner is. Dun, dun, dun. Hey. Hey, yay! We got you. Bling Bling Crafter, Pat, congratulations to you. Please email us at Pat and Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 26th of November 2023, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, Pat. And we will send the first card. This one. Oh, <laughs> that one to you. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Finally, your name has popped up. You've been trying and trying and trying. So, well done. There we go. That card is coming to you. And I will be doing the post situation. I'm a bit, but I'm a bit delayed on sending a lot of the yeah, cards out. So um, if you have one, it may be the fact that it's, and you haven't received it, it's still sat here. So I need to get them out in the post. So they at least arrive before Christmas for some of you. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. so congratulations, Pat. That card is coming to you. 
Don't forget, uh, all current Stampin' Up! products are available from our online shop. Links can be found in the de uh, description below or at mitosacrafts.com forward slash um, shop. There you go. Excellent. Superb. Any other thing? No, I think we are all good. Lovely. Oh. So we're going to go over to Zoom in a moment. So if you would like to come and join us over at Zoom, then the link is pinned in the live chat at the moment. So do come on there. Um, obviously, we don't do any, it's not a crafting thing, but it's, uh, well, you come along, chat, craft, whilst we tidy up and so on. So yeah. ask chat with questions, everyone. chat with everyone else, put some names to some faces, uh, put some faces to some names. <laughs> so yeah, <coughs> lovely. So we will see some of you very soon. Um, if not, we will see you Wednesday, same time, same place. Yes. Ooh, are we, oh no, 29th, okay. Next Sunday, we we'll, might start doing some mini. Yes. January to April. Yes, which will be the 3rd of December. <gasps> wow. Lovely. Lovely. Anyway, thank you so much again. Until next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.